function is on the win, Anthony. What do you still do? I triple your success today. My team is just all of the credit today. We have some serious playmakers on this offense. We got the lead. This team displays remarkable toughness. What does that say about the character of this group? Trust in the process. We trust our process and never gave up. That monster has been still with us since day one. Our team's chemistry goes about plus five. Got the six this week, and their secondary is pretty, really good ball right now. Shots down on field are going to be tough to come by, but we think we can have a lot of success leaning on the run game. Alright, let's do it. I'll give you more details in the meeting, but this sets up well for White to have a big day. It's week nine of the NFL, and we'll see the Buccaneers, leader at quarterback. He's your top dog in the league this season, ranking first in passing yards. It's the Buccaneers and the Saints, all that and more, coming up next. It's a building that's meant so much to the city of New Orleans and all... So here come the Buccaneers, ready for their opening drive. And it'll be their second-year quarterback who's bringing them out. Hey, wasn't it Banner game you had last week stuck in the stat sheet? It's still one that falls squarely into the good territory. Had a couple touchdowns to make up for the one interception. And his effort was enough to be one of the pillars in their win. And certainly some momentum to build on today. On first down, they'll run. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. We get a look at his rushing numbers from last week here. What he was able to do in support of that win. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Here's White again. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39 yard line. Looking for Michigan there that time. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. 
Here's the give on third and short. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. It's a meager two-yard gain, but that's enough to award them the first down. Throwing off the play fake here. He's going to push one deep down the Ooh, he called it. On two defenders. you want to see on your opening drive boom connect on a big shot and instantly you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today boy do i love that into the red zone after that big pickup it's first and 10 from the 15. a tight end in motion now they'll run here on first down and the middle holds they don't get anything on the Again, this is White. And he got what he could there, only to the 14. Only a yard from that time, so now third and nine. He takes the handoff, now to throw. Yes, I'm not. Well, you couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. And that tackle stops him after a solid gain. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. Yeah. From the 48. He's running back, rolls it in deep right. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. It's a gain of 29 yards. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. <laughs> right, trying this straight ahead. And the defense gets They're stuck in the run game. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few. He got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. An all around tough play for him. Took a shot on the release and it definitely affected the throw. It's incomplete. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Here's a throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. 
Drops back. And the Saints came marching home and they dropped him. And the pressure drives them backwards. So that's one quarter gone in a battle of NFC South rivals. Neither side separating much so far. Back to the Superdome of Caesar in just a bit. Back for the start of quarter number two. It's Buccaneers football as we begin. They're hoping to convert here on second and goal. Another try following the sack. They just got it away before the hit. The pass runs up incomplete. It's going to be third down. Back to throw now. a well-done route to Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. So good work to help reset those chains. Loose laid it down to approach here from the 40. to pass on first and ten. Mm. Falls to the ground now left, incomplete. Looking for the back that time. And it's going to be second down. Toss play, short side. And he'll start pushing them into field goal range. A small game to the 38. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Shaheed coming in motion left. Throwing now on first down. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Got Evans. It's complete. And he has them a first down, which they will tackle on the other side of this two-minute warning. Setting up a throw. He'll get this complete to White. And he's brought down for a loss. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Back now, pressure on its way. He's going to try to drop it in deep right. He's got it inside the 
10. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. And he's up across 200 yards now in this opening half. That's beyond simply a good start for him. It is this is the game where he's been taking the lead on carrying his offense forward however he can. Break the huddle and come up on first and goal. From the red zone now. And they will score. It's a Tampa touchdown. The Buccaneers get some late points and the lead. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. Shotgun snap, they're gonna throw. He gets a lot behind one, deep downfield! And it falls incomplete. Wait for the deep ball there, but just couldn't connect. You hear defensive coaches on every practice field we're on preach not giving up the big play, especially at the NFL level. Don't need to stay vigilant, because they're definitely gonna use that receiver to take the lead off. And the Saints came marching home, and they dropped him! The Saints call for a timeout, so they're first. Two left to work with before halftime. Third long from here. Just got it away before the hit button. It doesn't matter. It's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. I think I should just throw it away. Talk about that really, particularly when he's able to get out of it. The defense, 
I think it feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. That's caught for the first. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. New set of downs for him from the 46. They give now to White. And he gets a few on the punch forward. Hey, not a bad play by any means. There's room for more, and they know it. Second down now, seven to go. Another carry for him. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, that came at the perfect time. That's brought in by White. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third down. It's the money down. Well, nice to see the roll of the dice and continue the series. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. First down play, that's in five. It's going to be second and five. Here's a give up the middle. And he manages to reach the 19 before he stopped. Give him two on the run. That's going to set him up for third and four. For three quarters, we're still neck and neck. Neither side has been able to fully separate. This game remains tied after three, so we'll decide things right here in the fourth quarter. Chance to the chains here on third and four. Send a tight end in motion. We'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he's able to get this down to the 13. That one ends up again a six. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Changing things up. They're going to throw now. Escapes the pocket. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. A nice pick up of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. They'll try and punch it in. And he's going to hold it in for the Tampa Bay touchdown. The Buccaneers take a fourth quarter lead. It's a Rashad White touchdown. Well, this has definitely been a tight one throughout, Brock. So now that they've taken the lead, the question becomes... Can they hold on to it? And that question right there is one the defense has to answer. But this sure had the look of a drive where a coaching staff challenged that offense, saying, hey, we need a big drive from you guys right here. And sure enough, that offense delivers. Yeah, no doubt. Here's White. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Pass play now. And he'll go down. The Saints in the play. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Trying again, following the set. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. 
reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. Frustrated having to call that after giving up the first. Who set it down? Score him at the 38. Going to the ground again on first. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. We have a timeout here. Second one taken by New Orleans. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Here's White again. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. The Saints call their third and final timeout. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's going to be on third down. Looking to throw. Right side. Got a man. Complete. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. On first down, they'll run. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Stop right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force, and the defense wins out. And he's able to drive them forward into the red zone. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. And he doesn't get this one very far. Down to only about the 18. It's only two on the pickup, and it's an interesting call for them now on fourth down. So it's a win for the visiting Buccaneers. And it could have gone either way down to the very end, but they were able to come up with the clutch plays to take the victory.